It's been three weeks since Kelly McAfee's coronavirus symptoms began. I went to bed that night, I couldn't sleep, started having really bad chills, and all of a sudden I wasn't breathing anymore. But for her and her family, it's felt more like a lifetime. This is a serious business. It doesn't care who you are. It will attack you and it can kill you even if you're healthy. McAfee, an otherwise healthy school teacher, started showing symptoms of COVID-19 back on March 18th. Surprised she qualified for a test, she says she was in and out of the doctor's office quickly and sent home to wait for her results. What I didn't know at the time was that if you're admitted into the hospital, you get your test results back in 24 hours. If you're not admitted, it takes a week. Just days later, McAfee says things took a turn for the worst. I knew that I either needed to go or I was going to die. Still waiting on her COVID-19 test results, McAfee says she went to the ER on the 24th and was eventually admitted on March 28th, where she was on oxygen for six days after testing positive for the virus. The nurses had just left and I was sitting there thinking, I, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to survive this. As a wife and mother, McAfee was forced to have tough conversations. I said to myself at that point, your kids need you. They still need you. You can't die from this. Like you, You're going to survive. She's now home recovering from COVID-19, acute bronchitis, and pneumonia, and hopes that by sharing her story, others will be encouraged to heed the stay-at-home warnings of expert health officials. Even if you don't believe it, save grandma and grandpa and your brothers and sisters and your aunts and uncles. Like, save other people. Emily Hamilton, News 5.